All right, praise God, praise God. I told you I was coming right back. Okay, so thus saith the Lord. He says that, okay, you know how they're lifting the restraining off of the mass and everything? So, I'm telling you, please listen to me. Please, please listen to me. Hit number two is coming. I see this as a chemical warfare. I'm going to say this again. I see this as a chemical warfare. Listen very carefully. Let me go ahead and do the, this, this disclaimer because, you know, that's just where we at right now. When you say what thus said the Lord, and I've been listening to all the prophets lately. When you say thus said the Lord, people don't like it. They don't like it. Oh, you gloom and doom. Can I tell you something? I rebuke you. Ain't nobody doom and gloom. God always warns his people. Now, what he, what the warning is about, don't get scared, get prepared. Meaning that you're supposed to get closer to God. Detach yourself from this world and quit playing this game. Thus said the Lord, hit number two is coming. COVID was the first hit. No, I like y'all don't know what I'm saying. I've been telling y'all the same thing. This second hit would be a chemical warfare. I see holes. And I'm, I keep hearing the word rain. I keep hearing rain. Now, I need to ask y'all something. Are y'all the only ones? I started smelling this in 2017. The rain started smell. It smells like dog hair. So we already know, and, and, and I challenge you to do the research. They have a machine called HARP. Y'all wonder why those different elements been happening even in Texas or whatever the case. I don't care what y'all say. Those are test runs. I'm going to say it again. Those are test runs. What is a test run? We're going to test this machine to see if we can get this weather to do this, to do that, because we're going to destroy this and we're going to destroy that. Y'all already know they plan. They plan a major attacks in city: New York, Dallas, L.A., Atlanta, all of, all the major cities. Chicago. It hasn't happened yet to the fullest extent because they're doing test runs. That's why that weather's shifting. That's why this is happening. You don't have to believe me. Go to God. So anyway, let me get back on this chemical warfare. I've said this before, so this is the second time I'm talking about the same thing. I see a chemical warfare where people get holes in their body. Limbs are gonna fall off. You guys, and I know you don't want to hear this. We are living the, in the last days. God is calling his prophets to tell the truth to people. Whether you like it or not, it well, feels uncomfortable or not. These people want to annihilate, not just Christians, everybody. This is the kingdom of darkness. All you got to do is read Ephesians 6. It says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against spiritual wickedness in high places. How high you want to get? Who run in this world? The Bible tells you. It's like we don't understand scripture. It says the God of this world have nothing to do with me. And then y'all said we could pray it away. I just got through reading Je Jeremiah. And guess what he says in Jeremiah? God said people say I've come to send peace. I've come to send a sword. That's what, that's, that's what God said. So we are going to pray it away? How you going to pray when God already sent that sword? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This stuff real. So what do we do prophetess? Stop playing that game and acting like you all that. Get rid of that pride and start humbling yourself and say, God, you know, I, if something happened, I, I want to make sure that I go to heaven. Uh, just examine me, God. Show me me. Hallelujah. Let me get closer to you. Start repenting. That's what time it is. That's what time it is. I'm not saying God don't want you blessed, but I'm saying that and I need to I need to hit it. this. I, I need to be pivotal in this moment. If something happened to you today or tomorrow, are you sure you're going to heaven? Because the Bible says, even the elect, we're not sure. Yes, I consider myself elect because I walk that walk and I talk that talk. But I can't even, he says, every day, make sure that your salvation, every day. That's why I repent every day, whether it's word, thought, or deed. God, keep me, examine me. If, there any, if there's any iniquity that be found in me. God, please take it out. Show me so I can handle that thing. I can get rid of that thing. That's why all this stuff. Let me tell you something what the enemy did. The enemy made all this stuff. A lot of people say God, God didn't make that. Whatever God made, and we know what he made in Genesis. He said he looked around and he saw that it was good. All this extra stuff, God did not make drugs. God did not make um, por pornography. God, pfft, you understand what I'm saying? It's time to detach yourself from this world. I'm not saying you can't live in this world. Come on, somebody, because we're in here, but we're not of the world. It is time to do the examination check. And let me tell you all the second part of this prophecy. And I told you all this before. God is taking his people. God is calling his people home. And I'm going to tell you why. When this stuff hit, some people are not going to be strong enough to not. I'm going to take the chip. 
So God is taking them. So a lot of people are dying at an alarming rate. All you got to do is look around. And as far as people getting killed, all you got to do, excuse me, check out Jeremiah. From the 20th chapter all the way to the end. I, I think I told y'all that I, I want to do a Bible study. I might do it tonight if I have time at 7 o'clock. I might do it because I'm telling you right now, that's where we are. We in the book of Jeremiah where God said, I'm going to let them kill each other. Y'all ain't ready for me. He said, I'm going to let them kill each other. He said, they live by the sword. They got to die by the sword. People don't want to hear that though. Yeah, Y'all want to throw some little wings on people. How you living? And I'm not trying to be insensitive for ugly. How, how you living? No, 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 no. How you living? Because you can't live like hell and talk about you going to heaven. The devil is a lie. We need to stop playing that game. Christians too. Just because you in church don't mean you church. Because some of y'all act like thugs. And... Y'all know. Y'all know. Ain't got no love. Ready to snap, crackle, and pop at the end. I mean, just, that's not how you do that thing. Looking all mean and ugly. Didn't you do that out in the street? Well, how you going to come do that in the kingdom of God? Jesus didn't do that when, on his way to the cross. And he had every, he didn't even sin. He could have said something. The only thing he said is when um, Pilate was asking him something, he said, if I wanted to, I can command legions. So don't trip. Let me go ahead and do what my father want me to do. I just paraphrased it. He, he, the Bible said he opened not his mouth. He humbled himself. Well, why are Christians acting all ghetto and thug? And, and I want to tell them peace of my mind. We got to come back to the oracles of God. And hold on, I went through that period too. If you first followed me way long, y'all know I used to be tripping, hollering at people. I was doing too much. God said, uh-uh, uh-uh, you got to <laughs> tone that down. Tone that down. We say we Christians. Christians means Christ-like. Christ-like. Not what you think, not your opinion, not your girlfriend, not your husband, not your friend. Christ-like. Love in our heart. Extending the same grace and mercy to each other. Not so quick to get angry. Whatever the world dealing with, it started in the church. Because whatever the church dealing with, it seeps out into the world. So now the church is so worldly, you can't tell nobody nothing without them getting on Facebook and writing stuff. And, you know, you don't act like y'all don't know what I'm saying. Which is so out of order. Because all you got to do is inbox them if it's that deep. But I'm going to tell y'all something. What my grandma used to say, a hit dog going to holler all day long. Back in the day, when I first started off in 1996, my every last mentor, I'm not lying, they was hard. I didn't really like them, I ain't gonna lie. But I love them today. Because they made me who I am. They made me, they made me understand what truth is. And you know what truth is? Dealing with myself. My ugly self sometimes. My emotional self sometimes. And not just because you're a woman. Because men, y'all be... <laughs> y'all doing too much more than women right now. Truth be told. Everybody cuss. I mean, everybody... No. You know how we're supposed to do that thing when we get offended? I think I'm, I'm going to have to coach y'all for this right now. Calm down. Go in the room by yourself. Talk to God. Holler, fuss, cuss if that's what your thing is. But if you really are Christian... There should be some conviction of the Holy Spirit by telling you, hold on. As a matter of fact, thank you, Lord. I hear you. James 1.19. Slow to anger, slow to speak, slow to anger, slow to wrath. And the second verse says, this verse after that, 20 says, if you get angry like that, then you ain't grew up. You're still a child. Man, child, woman, child, however you want to say it. There must be some spiritual maturity in this last hour. There must be forgiveness in this last hour. You want people to forgive you? Because everybody got some stuff. I don't care who you are. We human. As long as you in this flesh, this flesh is a mess. I don't care what you say. I don't care how you say it. And if we don't come together in this last hour, these people, these people plan is already working, which I rebuke, but it's true. If the body of Christ don't come together and stop acting silly, it's going it, it, it's gonna be bad. And I rebuke you, but it, it just will be. But the remnant, we're not having it. We're going to call it like it is. And we love you. We love you because a, a true man, get this now, please get this. A true man, a woman of God, you have love in your heart. But you got to say what God said to say. And you got to do what God said to do. And if you don't, God going to deal with you. Y'all don't see God exposing people left and right? Right and left? Anybody could get it. And I mean anybody. Hallelujah. So at this point, it's time for us to examine ourselves. And do better. And I'm going to say that over and over and over and over again. 
and and that sin that people are doing, you gonna have to stop that because God is exposing that. You know that little sneaky sin, that little lying sin, that little gossiping sin, that little fornicating sin, that adulterous sin, that getting in the pulpit saying stuff that's not holy sin. I said it. I said it. Pastors, preachers, teachers, you can say what you want. You can say what you want. I'm about to say something. And this is scripture, by the way. The only thing supposed to be in that pulpit, preacher, teacher, apostle, bishop, is the word of God. Salvation. Not, re not religious ignorance. Not political. Not your thoughts. Not your opinions. But the gospel of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Anything else, you are out of order, said God. But y'all trying to get likes and, 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 you know, go viral. That's what it is. To you forgetting the oracles of God. And I'm telling you, he said, Woe to the shepherd that have scattered my sheep. Should I not deal with you, said the Lord? Shall I not deal with you? Hallelujah to his name. Ain't nobody playing. God is serious. I better stop playing. I'm telling you, and I, I've been saying this, y'all going to start falling dead in that pulpit. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. You know what he reminded me of? Y'all going to start falling dead on these lives. Because y'all think, just because it's alive, let me tell you protocol, pastor, preacher, teacher, fake one on Facebook. Y'all doing this for money, honey, and funny. This is death to a person playing. I keep telling y'all that y'all keep thinking it's a game. You know, back in the day, Old people you say don't play with God. They ain't say it like that. Let me, let me put that reverence in. They say don't play with God. And y'all playing with God as if he not God. Hallelujah. Now, that's something I take very serious. I don't play with God. I, I've seen some of the things God has done and allowed, even in my life. So, God bless you. God keep you. The hospital is calling, so I got to go. But I love you all through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Y'all please stay strong in the Lord. Please, please, please be on. This is not the time to play. Please understand and hear my cry. Hallelujah to his name. All right, got to go. God bless y'all. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless.